Looking stressed and weary, Portugal's Prime Minister vowed to remain in office and fight on. We will do everything possible to avoid a second bailout. Speaking to the nation on Sunday night, Pedro Passos Coelho said Portugal will honour the terms of its bailout and will do so with more cuts. The government has decided not to increase taxes. But to compensate for the inequality in our budget for 2013, we will have to introduce measures concerning public sector spending in particular, cuts in expenditures on Social Security, health and education. This latest round of cuts comes two days after the country's constitutional court ruled that some of the measures in the budget were unlawful. The court struck down plans to cut the pay and pension of public employees, cuts to sickness benefits, and attacks on unemployment subsidies. The government was quick to denounce the court's decision, charging that it had jeopardized Portugal's international credibility. The government does not agree with the reading of the Constitution of the Republic that the Constitutional Court made in its ruling on some of the measures in the 2013 budget. The position that was approved at the Constitutional Court poses serious difficulties to the country in its strive to fulfill the objectives to which it is internationally committed and the budget targets it must meet. The ruling will deprive the government of more than $1 billion it needs to fulfill its budget obligations and meet the terms of the bailout, a dire situation that the political opposition quickly moved to exploit. This gives more strength to the positions of the Socialist Party, which have been calling for the replacement of the government and defending the need to renegotiate the bailout plan. So to survive economically, the government must find additional sources of revenue. Difficult for a country that is facing its third year of recession and the largest tax hikes in living memory. Isa Suarez, CNN, London.